A bold declaration from Stacey Abrams. Democrats will flip Georgia in the 2020 election. Now, Abrams says that she knows how to make all of that happen. She released a playbook laying out the path to Democratic victory here and across the country. Abrams believes Georgia could and should be a major battleground state in the upcoming election. There are two U.S. Senate seats and what Abrams calls two, quote, hotly contested congressional seats at stake. Yeah, that's right. So if the Democrats win those races, it could also help change the political structure on Capitol Hill. Natisha Lance sat down with Abrams today to find out why she thinks she has that secret sauce. Stacey Abrams is not going down without a fight. The state is entirely likely to flip. But what I want to ensure is that this is not a could have. It is going to be a will do. Since narrowly losing the governor's race in 2018, she has been hard at work, pushing for reform and for Democrats to win big all the way to the White House. Georgia is actually closer to tipping than a number of states that are perennially considered battleground states. Abrams came closer to clinching the governorship than any other Democratic gubernatorial candidate. Georgia is not only a purple state, it is a deeply competitive state and has been for a couple of cycles. What my campaign demonstrated in 2018 was the ability to accelerate that cycle. Now she's sharing her secret to success far and wide with the Abrams playbook writing, building a strong and multiracial, multi-ethnic coalition with historic turnout levels, put the Abrams governor campaign on the doorstep of statewide victory and puts Democrats in a strong position to break down that door in 2020. Abrams says the keys are spending money, tens of millions, and convincing voters to show up. But Republicans could respond too, especially with a well laid out strategic roadmap from the other side. Abrams says she's not worried, but it begs the question, why make this public? We received requests from presidential candidates, from allies across the country who wanted to know what we did and how we did it. But most importantly, they wanted to know, was it possible to replicate it? And we reached out to Governor Kemp's office to get his reaction to the playbook. We did not get a response back today, Aisha.